Hey again, YouTube. It has been far, far too long. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Stephen Aaron. I am currently a student at the University of California, Berkeley, a second year majoring in computer science and economics. Today, I want to be talking to you guys about touch typing and how it improved my life and why you should learn to do so. So before I learned to touch type, I would be typing with two fingers looking at the keyboard constantly and there are there are a number of disadvantages to that compared to touch typing what you see behind you right here is called the home row position where you have your fingers positioned on the middle rows index the right index on the j the left index on the f with your other fingers spanning out and both thumbs sitting on your spacebar. What you're gonna wanna do first is go to the internet and look up typingclub.com or typing club, it should be the first link. And then you click get started and you can begin your first lesson. So I hear you want to type like a pro. Let's start by setting up your finger positioning. Look at the F and J keys on your F and J keys. Do you see the bumps on each key? Here. Close your eyes and feel for the bumps. And here. Two index fingers. So once you learn the positions, then you learn where your other fingers go. For example, index goes to R, T, middle finger goes to E, ring finger goes to W, Q. You can also advance this and use your pinky to do the one and uh, the Z as well. Here I am um, about to start one of the later lessons from Typing Club. And as you see, there is a graphical interface that they use to show you which fingers go on which keys. And it's pretty useful starting out, but as you progress, it will no longer be necessary and you'll be typing much faster. Now, don't be scared. This is lesson 77. This is not the second or third. You progressively go there and they start introducing each finger to you, each row to you, mixing them up and and uh, and matching them so that when it comes to writing actual sentences, your brain will just start to um, memorize where which finger um, presses which key instinctively. And the faster these you develop these instincts, the faster your typing speed will be. Now I know what you're thinking. Why Why the hell would I wanna increase my typing speed? What, what are the advantages? What do I get out of this? Now, as a computer, intended computer science major and a programmer, it is vital to your career, um, first off. And even if you're not a programmer and you're in college or high school or any profession, you will need to write and typing is the fastest way to do so. I remember back when I was um, in high school taking concurrent enrollment in community college, I, um, I had an English class and they would have us write diaries uh, and journals like a few times every week of what's been going on and just whatever's on our mind. I, I barely had to spend any time. I would just, just shit out 90 words per minute and just write whatever was on my mind. I mean, you don't even need to look at the computer screen. You can just stare up into the sky and, and sleep or something. You can watch Netflix and just type away. You don't, even, you don't have to look at the keyboard. You don't have to do anything. And you could type faster than ever before. And realistically, it could take a couple months or a few months to get to that level to where you can type any word without looking at the keyboard at above 80 or 90 words per minute. And it gets progressively harder to increase the rate at which you type, especially when you get after 90. I mean, attaining 110, 120 is very hard. I've done it like, I did 112 once consistently for like you know, like a, a few paragraphs or whatnot. And um, they they made me, <laughs> they made me retake it because they thought, they thought like, uh, you they have to do that for people who have like high um, typing speeds to make sure they're not cheating. Uh, and I couldn't do it again. <laughs> so it was only that one time. 
So now that we've established that touch typing and being able to type fast is a very useful skill that will carry on and prove to be useful for the rest of your life, um, we, need to, we need to realize how we can do this in a fun, productive way that encourages you to learn. I'm gonna be providing the links for um, the typing club lessons and this website, Type Racer, in the description. Um, basically what this is, is a, um, it's a race against other online opponents to see who can type the fastest. So once you develop your skills using Typing Club, you can then go to Type Racer to see how you compare in real life competition, typing real paragraphs, randomized paragraphs, I ended up getting 83 words per minute for first place. I'm gonna take a celebratory sip of my coffee for the first place. And cause I'm on, and cause I'm running off of no sleep. So yeah, and I'm like throwing a party and I have a project. College is very stressful and hard. Well, there you guys go. I showed you what touch typing was, showed you the home row position and two resources to use to learn how to touch type and to compete with other people to make touch typing more fun and um, easier to learn since it becomes more fun and more competitive. Now, that being said, I encourage you to go on Typing Club, get through at least 80 lessons, 80, 90, try out Type Racer, do some rounds of that, make sure you know every key um, and yeah, good luck, shit on your competition, and, uh, hope you guys get to 90. Please let me know in the comments what you guys thought of this video, what you guys would like to see on this new channel. Um, I'm gonna be discussing technology, investments, finance, programming, cryptocurrency. Uh, I'm gonna be talking about a lot, a lot of tech, tech stuff. So if that's something that you're interested in, please consider leaving a like, subscribing, and, uh, tuning in for more. Thank you.